He is the omnipresent being. The universe is his body, as it were. All heads, eyes, hands, etc. belong to him. They belong to consciousness. He is pleased with japa, charity, ritual, worship, study and such practices. When this self awakens with the help of wisdom or vivika, there is inner unfoldment. The mind vanishes and the jiva disappears too. In this terrible ocean of samsara, wisdom, vivika, alone, is the boat which enables one to cross it. The self is highly pleased with the diverse do-as-you-please forms of worship one adopted before. It bestows on one the pure messenger known as Viviga Wisdom. By means of holy company, study of scriptural truth and illumination, it brings the jiva closer to the pure primordial state of oneness. I suppose it depends what your motivation for this worship is. If you are really looking for the truth, then eventually something should open up eventually. But what's important is this Viveka wisdom. And this is the ability to understand the nature of your own attention and where that attention is dwelling. Is it dwelling in ideas, objects, feelings, other people? Or is it dwelling in itself? And the wisdom is the wisdom of knowing to bring the attention back to itself at every opportunity.